So is it spring yet where you are? Probably. Not here. Getting ready though. Getting ready for it. Snow won't go away. Hopefully it doesn't snow anymore. Got nowhere else to put it. Well, you're probably saying something's missing, right? Yep. There's going to be a car driving by. Been cars for hours. Step out here. There's a car. Something's missing. The old uh, 99 Red GMC. AKA the Red Phoenix has fallen. Well, not really, but turns out someone needed it more than I did. It's over a guy's house, and he said he needed a truck. He made me an offer. I wasn't really selling it, but you know that I like cash. I don't know if you do, but I really do. And uh, decided I didn't really need that truck. So, it stayed there. And he gave me a ride home. Almost time. I can drive the old dually, but still got a couple of feet of snow in the backyard here. I don't know when that's going to go away. Well, I had some suspicion in the past that my uh, 78 C10 was a, a Big Ten model. If you don't know what that is, uh, they had, in these years, they had um, GMC was called a heavy half, and the Chevy had a Big Ten. And uh, basically, what that meant was uh, 
it was a half ton truck with uh, heavy duty springs and stuff um, <clears throat> I always noticed when I uh, loaded this thing up with scrap, it uh, took it pretty good. You know, it wasn't it didn't act like a normal half ton wood. It didn't have much sag to it, and uh, put a lot of weight in it. Then I noticed uh, it's got a lot of leaves there. It's got nine leaves, and uh, that's one. Thing that the uh, the Big Ten model came with, you know, it should have like a sticker right there that says Big Ten, but this thing's got a different bed on it and stuff like that. Uh, so you got those, you got the springs, you got also. The uh, heavy duty front springs. Um, a few little things like that, you know, not nothing too crazy, but uh, supposedly it's got a bigger cross member with the dual humps so that it, you know, you can have dual exhaust and uh, it's got a 12 bolt rear end in it. It's not posy though. Um, So, I always kind of thought that it might be, and uh, come to find out, one one true uh, telltale sign is that the uh, that fourth digit of the VIN number, if that's a four, then uh, that's that's a fact right there. That's a big ten. It's uh, L44 is uh, the model for that, and uh, you can see. It's got a bigger GVW than a regular half-ton truck, so it's kind of cool that I recently confirmed that, and the reason why is uh, I got under there, I counted the, uh, the bolts on the differential, and why did I do that? Because... Uh, Looks like uh, I'm on the hunt for a rear end. As I said before, uh, last couple of times I hauled some heavy loads of scrap with this and I uh, was hearing some funny noises, but it almost sounded to me like something was hitting the dry shaft or you know, a stick under there or something, but I could never find anything, and uh, the U-joints and everything are tight, stuff like that, but kind of find out there's another problem. Here we are, laying on the uh, ice, salt, and sand to show you this, but here we got... 12 bolt rear end that's in it and uh... Oh. Oh, I gotta put it in neutral for you to see this. I gotta get back up. See how much that how loose that is it's not supposed to turn that much and uh... looks like something inside is not happy the uh, pinion backlash or has backed off and something in there is grinding away so I don't know to me Doesn't seem normal, but you tell me.
haven't had too much luck so far uh, finding a replacement because uh, I suspect that whatever's been going on inside that rear end it's not good and uh, it's probably worn some shit away and messed it up pretty good so there's probably some internal damage and uh, be easier just to swap out for a whole nother rear end and I'm trying to find out I think I can just put in 10 bolt because I mean I've had tons of those and those are fine rear ends for doing pretty much anything the uh, 12 bolt only has a slightly bigger pinion in it so a little more heavy duty but not really necessary so a 10 bolt pretty much out of anything you know suburban Chevy van Chevy pickup should be pretty easy to find you would think but not up here in Maine not many around so should be a direct bolt in I'm just wondering about size of the u-joint if that will be different or you know because I don't want any troubles I just want to swap one in and keep on going with this thing can't really afford to uh, have it down there you go any input on that uh, on the rear end you know much appreciated but uh, seems like um, you know just the shit luck continues ice is falling everywhere um, sell a truck and uh, the other truck brakes. That's how it goes. Still drivable. Makes uh, makes some awful noises sometimes, but not all the time. So I don't know if it's uh, probably it's not worth uh, digging into. You know, I mean, uh, should be able to just uh, hoping to just to find something just to swap in. It's not not too bad to do that. Um, sucks, but got to do it and uh hopefully i can just find a you know 10 bolt or something just a quick one to toss in a couple hundred bucks or something you know but uh be nice to find a whole nother truck but good luck with that uh yeah i did a little search online for uh a replacement 12 bolt and uh it's like lowest price i got was like 600 bucks and it was like a four hour ride so screw that 